name is Crystal Mills. I am a faithful believer in Jesus Christ. And I'd like to just tell you a little bit of my story, uh, where I come from and where I am now. I did not grow up in a church. I grew up in a very broken family, a very broken home. Um, my mother and father separated when I was very young, too, to be exact. And my stepfather was my abuser. I told my mother when it first started happening and she did not believe me. So I was abused by my stepfather for eight years. He finally went to prison and the day he did was the day that I had my first drink. I was hurt. I was angry and it numbed the pain. And at the age of 14, I tried cocaine for the first time and that led to a very destructive path. I was able to stay clean long enough to have two children. Um, but shortly after the last, my second child, I returned to what made me feel good, what made me not feel what I have always felt, had always felt, and that was anger and resentment and um, depression and just questioning my life, period. I went to treatment a few times and I always struggled when they would allow us to go to AA meetings because they would talk about coming to believe in a power that was greater than ourselves and most most people call that God, which that is the power that's greater than ourself, but I, I, I struggled with it because I didn't believe, because I had a resentment towards God because of the way that my life had been. Shortly after I moved, I got into another relationship after being four months sober, and it, took me to places that I'd never been before. It took me to homelessness. It took me to begging. It took me to a violent relationship, toxic relationship. And I was numb. I met a couple in my homelessness that were Christians and they helped us quite a bit. And when I was dead in my trespasses and sin, um, I was linked with a church um, that would soon take me in and be the hands and feet of Jesus. And I hit my knees for the first time and I prayed to a God that I didn't know was real. But I said, look dude, I don't know if you're real or not, but I need help. I can't live like this anymore please help me. And I did. I woke up the next day a changed person. Um, I believed in God's grace and mercy that was new every day, but I didn't give myself those things. So 32 months after being in sobriety, I relapsed. And it was probably the worst relapse that I had ever had. If it hadn't been for coming to Christ prior to this horrible relapse, I probably would be dead. Churches where I met the people that I knew were part of a family that I belong to, and that's the, the family of believers of Jesus Christ. Celebrate Recovery was what taught me how to live my life. I found a home at Beachside Baptist when I moved back to Florida, and I'm just so grateful that wherever I go, the body of Christ is.